That's pretty tall. <laughs> 1.2 meters. Pretty solid. Hi. <laughs> I hope you are, are well and in good health. Please enjoy this video and hope it will entertain you. Okay, with that out of the way, uh, that intro you saw earlier, that was actually done a few weeks ago. The video has been delayed uh, as of me trying, uh, going to make it because uh, something bad happened. Now, there is a there will be a bunch of info dump of me, so if, you, if you're not interested, just skip to this uh, timestamp right here. Uh, if you just want to know the, uh, the topic of the video, which is me buying the motorcycle in the Philippines. Also, please like the video and hit the subscribe button. And I would really appreciate if you hit the bell notification, because my upload routine is uh, maybe not really that uh, frequent. Okay, so what actually happened? was that I contracted the disease that famously killed the Roman Emperor Vespasian. You know, your good old boy. <laughs> this lasted for about a week. It was very painful and horrifying. I should probably not discuss too much about it, but uh, you know what? I should probably have logged it. <laughs> But that doesn't really matter that much because right now I feel well and uh, whatever plans that was delayed are now uh, I'm able to now perform them. So uh, right now I am staying in my girlfriend's sister's uh, house or more like her attic. I will not really disclose where this is uh, because of privacy concerns of some of the residents uh, in his house. But I will use this as my base for now. Uh, this is where I will be uh, staying most of the time uh, until we probably can get another place that might be better. So there's a few things from the previous video that I noticed um, that I uh, somehow cut out because that video got too long already. Uh, but one thing I observed when I tried to review the video again was that it really sounds like I just married my girlfriend for the sole purpose of going to the Philippines. Uh, I couldn't really be any further from the truth. As a matter of fact, we've been together for seven years. So I feel like this marriage at least was way overdue. It's about time that we got that. So one thing that was cut out from the previous video uh, was my travel plans. I am planning to stay here for six months, which is quite long. I've never stayed uh, in another country for that long, uh, but not longer than that. Uh, that has to do with a lot of constraints that my country is imposing on me, uh, including my travel insurance. So, But either way, that's not, not really the important thing. My important thing to mention here is that I have quite a lot of places that I'm looking forward to go to. Uh, but it all depends on, because this is a pandemic, it all depends on the ease of getting there. But already in December, I am going to go to Anilao again to re visit my good old friend Sean. Uh, and then I will uh, take the advanced open diver course. In addition, my girlfriend and her sister will take their own open water diver course. So uh, I'm going to really try to put my new filmmaking skills into play. I'm going to try my uh, try to make it much better to record on the water, especially now that I got a GoPro Hero 8, which has just much more superior stabilization. And, well, I got this one as well. This is, I'm using this one for uh, lightning now. This is also waterproof. It can go down to around 40 meters, it says. I'm not sure, but let's give it a try. Uh, so that will probably help making, uh, uh, taking GoPro video at least, because GoPro is pretty terrible. In addition, in December, shortly after we are going to Anilao, we will be visiting, or more like revisiting, Bohol. We, uh, we went there already in 2020, January, and I was going to make vlogs, but... It, it didn't really go well, but this time I have the confidence, so don't really, I don't really think there will be any problem of me making cool videos there. 
And also, one thing is that, yeah, there's a pandemic now, so most likely there's going to be very few tourists. More for me. Uh, another thing we're looking forward to, maybe in January, is to revisit Palawan. But no. And um, we also hope to be able to visit Siargao, Bicol, and Ilocos. Uh, and, and to be fair, I really hope there's some opportunity for us to visit Visayas and Binanao. But as again, uh, we'll see about that if it's easy to get to those places. But I'm, I'm at least having uh, entertaining the idea. And a final point to get across is that uh, I am actually working, as you probably saw in the video. I work remotely. So uh, for me, this uh, making travel videos and such is really just a hobby. It's not going to be my main source of income. So don't expect me to be very dedicated in this. But I will still try to make something entertaining. Um, but the income, uh, you know, my videos are now monetized because I have over 1,000 subscribers. I'm planning to make all of that money go to charity, uh, as I don't really need to rely on uh, the income from YouTube. That was a, that's about it. So now for the real topic of the, today's video. In Philippines, motorcycle is almost a necessity considering the poor state of public transportation. Uh, well. You also, it will also be very nice to have a car, but we already got one. So it's not really any point of us looking for that now. Oh, the, the light is flickering. I hope that doesn't really show up on the video. Yeah. So the first goal was to try to find out what motorcycle to buy. Um, one choice would be the Honda Wave. Very reliable, uh, very utilitarian uh, and relatively cheap. But I already have that one at home in Norway, uh, kind of like a European variant. And um, I feel like it's just a little bit underpowered. I want to have a little bit of fun. So if I really want to have fun, I would get, go for a DRZ 400 SM, which I also have at home. That one is just a beast. It's so fun to ride. The problem is you, don't, you can't really find it here in the Philippines. You need to import it. So. Uh, with that one out, you also have the very, very famous TMX 155, a uh, complete workhorse that just refused to die. The thing is that this one was stopped, uh, it uh, went out of production in 2013 and has been replaced by a, well, it's, it's okay, the Supreme variant, it's just that it really is not the same as the TMX 155. But to be fair, uh, there's really just one uh, more motorcycle left that I think would be the best option. The motorcycle I'm looking forward to is one that is good for commuting and re relatively lightweight, but also fun. So I eventually ended up with uh, a very famous or very popular motorcycle here, uh, the Suzuki Raider, which is kind of like a sports underbone motorcycle. It's fast, fun, reliable, cool and lightweight, which will be my primary commuter motorcycle. The video, it went very unplanned. I, the plan was that uh, we would go just to look uh, at motorcycles and then when I have decided, we would uh, go back home uh, first or something, because apparently I was told that paperwork takes really long time or a few days to finish. So the goal was that when I will pick up motorcycle, I will bring GoPro and everything and then record myself riding it. Uh, but apparently we could actually just bring it back home immediately. All I have was my phone to record with. Um, I'm very sorry. The, the plan really was to have a GoPro attached to my hand. Uh, but, well, we can't do much about it. So here's how it went. Well, we actually went there without anything other than my phone because we didn't expect to be able to buy this one right now. But uh, thank you. Apparently, you can buy it immediately and bring it home. So not as planned, but it, uh, it's good at least. Nice and clean. I'm really excited to. Uh, ride this one very soon.
So it's a nice compartment here, so you can store uh, bottled water. <laughs> and then you also have uh, the, it's not really a compartment, it's mostly where you have the battery and the fuel. And this is also the first brand new bike I'm going to buy. Oh, look at these brand new rims. I never seen a chain this clean before. Even when I try to clean my own chain, it's always a little bit of dirt. Uh, so, um, do you have spray or something? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. okay. Top speed, roughly 150. Air cooled. I don't know. This is this is just really really cool bike. I wish they had uh, this more in uh, Europe and such. So I'm definitely going to enjoy riding this one. And of course, fuel injection. So uh, when you reach the RPM five thousand, there's an indicator here, uh, so you need to change the gear. Oh, it's for fuel. Uh, yeah. Okay. It, and it, if you put Five, where's uh, you reach ten thousand? Okay. You need to change. The, but if you uh, would not like to have that, you just uh, yeah, turn just to turn off. Okay. Bought myself a uh, hoodie, so there's at least some kind of protection. Thank you very much, Kuya. Thank you, Mom. Okay. This looks pretty cool, Bob. This helmet here is pure crap. So, let's go home now. Whew. Okay. I just really like to show that one off. A uh, quick update. Going home, it went fine. But, of course, there's this Opland Silat or Silat, I don't remember the name. So usually you're stopped uh, uh, if you're a motorcycle. It's uh, to deter, you know, riding in tandem incidents. But uh, the thing is, this one is not registered yet. Uh, it's only valid for one day to ride out, and that is just to ride home. So this one cannot be brought out on the road in 45 days, something around that. Uh, maximum 45 days, so 30 days minimum. That's when I get the registration plate and everything. So until then, this one should just stay here, unfortunately. Uh, in addition, the police officer that uh, stopped me or checked my documents uh, suggested me to get a, what is it called? A local license, instead of using my international one. So that's less of a problem because he kind of reacted when I showed my Norwegian license, which, um, well, of course, is understandable, but you get the point. Uh, so that's probably one uh, the next thing I'm supposed to do uh, get uh, international uh, get a local license okay or than that this one was very fun to ride actually uh, more power than I expected uh, I think it's around 20 horsepower or 18 around that so 150 cc engine so you need to wait until you can see me ride this one unfortunately well I can probably go it for test ride around this road here but not on the main roads, because that's just too risky. So we thought I would make the video without recording myself riding it. <laughs> now, this is not really the best riding gear, but I'm just going to test ride it uh, here in this area, simply because I'm not allowed on the road. I'm not really... I'm not really sure if you can see much, but I'm trying. I'm just using a wrist wrap now because that's all I have. So... How fast is it really? Oh, we're around 160, I've seen a video. Wow, I can't really show this right here because this is a residential area. So I just have to go pretty... I have to go pretty slow, I guess respect the uh, people who live around here but I can still try to accelerate quite a, quite a bit
honestly it accelerates pretty well. I'll just try to get up here. Hi there. Are you sneaking into our trash, eh? <laughs> Now again, this is, you cannot really compare it to my DRZ, it's, it's a much big, it's almost, uh, it's three times bigger almost. Uh, but it's still very fun to ride, I mean, it, I'm surprised by the acceleration and in, in the Philippines, this is, I mean, it's just 150 and for my, most people that doesn't sound much. Uh, who lives in a country where big bikes are common, but here this is, this is pretty surprising. Uh, and I'm even more amazed that it has around the same power I put as a 250. I think it's around 18 horsepower, so uh, this one is not going to be really tiring to ride on longer trips, I believe. So this one here, uh, until now or until then, I believe this is going to be my main vehicle to get around the provinces, uh, in Luzon at least. Most likely the southern parts, but hopefully we can go to northern parts as well on this one. I don't know how this is one is going to be like off-road, but it's... It's probably going to be fair enough. Uh, there's, a, there's plenty of ground clearance. I mean, people can do the same on the Honda Wave, so why not this one? Yeah, I believe this was a pretty boring video for most of you. Uh, it didn't go as expected. I was expecting to make more, uh, at least me riding back home, but things like this just happens. But I hope at least you enjoyed it, and now you have uh, something to look forward to in approximately 30 days <laughs> when I finally get my uh, registration. Uh, until then, next video is probably going to be about a very big Swedish store that is going to open in Philippines, okay? So, see ya! There's a few things I cut out from the... Uh, Luna, Luna, no, no, no. Uh, well, you see, there's a... There's a cat here. Uh, she's pretty mischievous and curious, huh? Can you please get off the table? I'm I'm making a video. That that is making a video, huh? Please. Don't don't get your tail away. Okay, thank you. Thank you.